In this video, we will explore the Jetson 1 and the Chinese competitors trying to steal its crown. And if you stick around till the end, we'll reveal the shocking price difference between the Jetson 1 and one of its Chinese counterparts. When the Jetson 1 was launched in October 2021, it took the world by storm. A compact personal aircraft that could fit in the back of an SUV, and above all, it required no pilot's license. Indeed, it was a dream come true for many. Even now, it's one of the coolest personal electrical aircraft to exist. Yes, it was restricted to certain flight zones, but its starting price of just $92,000 was attractive enough for entrepreneurs, athletes, and even YouTubers. Bookings sold out almost immediately, while deliveries began in September 2025. The success of Jetson 1 its high demand and low supply did result in laws of economics taking over. Today, the Jetson 1 costs around $128,000 and according to the latest announcements, the price is expected to rise to $140,000 soon. There is no doubt that since its debut, the Jetson 1 has fascinated people with its design simplicity. It has four coaxial rotors, an open lightweight aluminium roll cage cockpit, and two simple battery packs without any cooling system. It is simply a quadcopter drone scaled up to carry a person. Naturally, this caught the attention of drone manufacturers, especially in China, where the drone industry was booming with hundreds of producers. Among them are companies that build heavy-duty drones for firefighting, agriculture, and even cargo transport. It is very likely that Jetson 1 sources many of its components from China. For example, the joystick, motors, propellers, batteries, controllers, etc. The advantage the Chinese competitors have is a direct access to these suppliers. Furthermore, the Chinese drone firms already have years of experience in flight stabilization software, energy management, and powertrain optimization. So for them, the transition to Jetson 1-like aircraft was not very challenging. The Chinese Civil Aviation Administration, that is the CAA, also works closely with the aircraft manufacturers, providing them a clear route to certification. Their framework for ultralights has long been established under the Chapter O of CCAR 91, mirroring the FAA Part 103, which allows the aircraft under 116 kilograms to operate recreationally without airworthiness certification or pilot's license. So, with that many incentives, it was a no-brainer for them to copy a design that is selling like hotcakes. To Jetson's credit, they have spent a long time perfecting their design and control software. Note that they have achieved their design through a process of evolution after many iterations. Their final design was the base design for these Chinese counterparts. Therefore, no one other than Jetson have a holistic understanding of this current design. Jetson also developed a flight simulator for training pilots, which is a strong indication of their focus on safety and usability. So, let's now look at the Chinese competitors with designs strikingly similar to the Jetson 1. They are the S0 by Shenzhen Yingwu Intelligent Technology Company, also known as VYVTOL, passenger drone by Global UAV, and EVTOL by Skytech UAV. There is visual evidence of at least one other manufacturer that has made similar aircraft, but information on websites about these Chinese aircraft is extremely limited and there's also the language barrier. Most information has been extracted from TikTok videos and short tech demos. From the specifications available, these Chinese aircraft typically use larger propellers that are over a meter in diameter, compared to Jetson 1's 0.9 meter. Their empty weight and aluminium cockpit design are roughly the same. The larger propellers likely allow for slightly longer flight times, that is around 25 minutes compared to 20 minutes for the Jetson 1. Having said that, the Jetson 1's compact design gives it better agility and maneuverability. 
When it comes to safety, Jetson's own videos rarely show flights more than a few meters above the ground, which is likely a limitation deliberately added for safety. The Chinese counterparts, on the other hand, appear to fly higher and their safety standards are not yet clear. Among the Chinese models, the S0 by YI VTOL appears to be the most tested and developed in collaboration with Shenzhen University. The S0 also includes an interactive screen. YI VTOL have announced a price of just 59,000 US dollars for the S0 and their videos suggest that at least one unit has already been delivered in the Middle East. It's believed that Global UAV and Skytech could offer their versions for even less. They required personal details before disclosing any pricing, which we chose not to provide. So what do you think? What's the right price for a passenger drone like this? Do you think that the Jetson 1's price of $140,000 is a fair price? Share your thoughts in the comments below. You can find a full list of specifications for these aircraft on our website. Link is in the description. And with this, the video is concluded. If you like the video, please push the like button and do subscribe. It pushes the channel forward. Thank you for your attention.